First, you're, you're, you're partnering with Raphael, the realtor and the internet sensation. <laughs> Hopefully. And then, and then you're calling me and we are going to go through the pre-approval, get credit, build that stool. Okay. Once we built that stool, then I'm back to, uh, you're, you're back on the realtor side then. And then you're looking for homes. Once you find those homes you think you want to see and they match the pre-approval, you go see the homes and you say, I want to make this offer. We structure the offer to, to balance that cash to close amount that's the sweet spot for you. So you're comfortable with the payments and you're comfortable with the cash to close. And the payments are very important because I'm going to do another car analogy here if you'll let me. Absolutely. I mean, if you walk, on, if you walk into um, an auto dealership, you, know, you don't want to be like, oh, to the salesperson, hey, what's the most expensive car I can buy? Yeah. What is the most, you know, like that's not, it's like, what do you, what do you need the car for? Do you need a car just going back and forth to school? Do you need a huge car because you have four kids? Do you need a pickup truck because you're handy and your job requires that? You know, do you travel a lot? Do you need a car with great gas mileage? So that's the same thing that, that you guys will go in, go in detail. So once you find that home for that you like and that works for you, that's the price point that we've talked about from that payment that you want, then you're doing an inspection. Then you find out, okay, what's messed up with the house? What's messed up here? And you'll probably get a list of anywhere between 10 and 30 there's things. always a list. There's always a list. There's ne- if you if you do an inspection and there's not a list, you're you should Fire not your pay your inspector. inspector. <laughs> yes, because even if it's new construction, there's still a list. You there'll still be a list. Yeah. There will still be something some things that need switched or changed or patched or whatever. Right. So then it's all about how big of a deal do you want to make about those things. If you go through and say I want all thirty of these things fixed, the seller's probably going to say, "You're probably not the buyer for us. I'm not doing all this stuff. It's right. a little ridiculous." So you pick the things that are most important to you and you sort it, you, you can throw it back to the, to the, to the seller and say, okay, I want numbers four, 10, eight, 12, and 13. Yeah. And I, I'd like to have those fixed yeah. before closing. Now he could, the seller can do one of three things. They can say, sure, we'll have those fixed. Or they could say, I'm not going to fix those or some of those, but we'll give you a credit. So at closing, so you could do it. Or they could say pound sand. I'm not doing any of this on. stuff. And then it's up to you whether or not you want to do that. That's that's when the realtors come in. That's when when we play we try to play Superman and try to keep the, the deal. The deal <laughs> yeah, but together. those aren't 